Okay, guys. It is still Sunday. Hold on, baby. Let me tell y'all. I am literally, I just finished. I had a few glasses of wine. Cooked, cleaned. By the way, dinner was baked barbecue chicken, ear corns, corn on the cob, and some green beans, right? So after I get done cleaning and all that good stuff, I decided to bring TJ outside just to kind of get some fresh air because we have been in the house for long. I mean, we do our errands and maybe like run to the store if we need to. Hold on, baby, because I'm talking to our I'm talking to our subbies. And um, so we come outside, you know, just to kind of like enjoy about an hour or two outside so he can play with his toys and all that stuff, right? So that's the driveway. And this is the garage. And I am literally inside my garage and there's a little speaker right there say hi tj and so i'm playing my music the speaker is really pretty loud you can probably hear it from maybe like a block or so but in my lease my lease says that with the noise ordinance as long as the music is done or loud loudness is done by 10 o'clock or whatnot you know what i'm saying whatever it's freaking six o'clock. We got out here maybe about 5.30. So we've been out here for probably like an hour, hour and a half. I'm in my garage. I'm not even in the street. I got my speaker in the garage. He loves this light that blinks. It's just good for his sensory being that he's a special needs kid. So he absolutely, I'm waist training y'all. So he absolutely loves music and he loves it loud. And then he loves this light that's on the speaker, right? So I'm having my wine and we're out here chilling. He's playing with his toys in a little driveway or whatever. We're not outside the garage. I knew it. I felt it. I literally freaking felt. I'm like, okay, I wonder how long. I was thinking in my head. I wonder how long is it going to take? With everything that's going on, I knew it was coming. I'm like, I wonder how long is it going to take for the cops to pull up, right? Because it's just, it's, it's apparent. It's apparent, it's obvious tensions in regards to racial, everything that's going on. And I don't speak about this stuff because a lot of people may not agree with how I feel. And I don't really like to talk about politics and I don't like to talk about religion because what I believe is not up for debate, right? So I'm just like, okay. So I'm chilling. We're listening to our music. I'm having my wine. I'm in my garage doing my thing. I'm like, we're good. It's early in the day. We're, we're, we're relaxing. We're, we're hanging out. We're winding down. But I'm like, okay, I wonder how long it's going to take for the cops to show up. So we're probably out here for maybe like 40 minutes. And lo and behold, guys, cops show up, okay? Cops show up to the end of the street and he's like, and I'm like, no, <laughs> like, are you kidding me? I am not about to come to your car for what? I'm in my garage. I'm playing my music with my special needs son because he enjoys music and it's what calms him down. What do I need to come to your car for? He's like, come here, come here. I'm like, no, what do you want? He's like, I need you to turn that down just a little. I'm like, okay. That's fine. So I hit it down maybe a notch or two. And I'm just thinking to myself, and then it made me feel, and I'm like, okay. After he left and he kind of just like drove by or whatever after I didn't come to the car. I'm like, what am I about to come to the car for? For, for us to get into a heated discussion because I know me and come on. So I'm like, no. And then you're probably going to kill my ass at the end of the day. I mean, it is what it is. Y'all see what's going on and no. And so I'm just like, okay, whatever. So he drives off and he's just like, you know, turn that down a little bit and not your tool. And I'm like, okay, I knew it was coming. And I'm like, I knew it was coming. So after he left, I started playing like Unstoppable by Corin Hawthorne. I started playing Erica Campbell. I started playing, mind you, all of the music that I'm playing is like maybe R&B. There's some gospel mixed in together. It's like a mixed track that I found on YouTube with like a mixture of songs. Songs that I like songs that tj loves and i'm just like there's no cussing and none of the songs the music is loud but we're enjoying our evening like we're not disturbing anyone my baby is playing his plan like what he's doing he's doing his thing and i'm in a garage and it just my first reaction was to 
shut everything down, go inside the house and just go back inside and barricade yourself. But then something again was telling me, no, you turned it down a notch or two. I think I did a notch. I turned it down a notch. I turned it down a notch and I'm thinking, no, continue to stay outside. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You said you were coming in about 7, 30, 8 o'clock and that's what you will do. But I'm just thinking, you know, it just, it really rubbed me the wrong way because I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I'm like, how long, how long is it going to take a black family, a black woman with a black child to sit outside her house, listening to music, seemingly to other people, enjoying herself, having a glass of wine. How long is it going to take for the cops to show up? You know, it's evident. It, it, it just literally really blows my mind and like I just I'm feeling this I'm feeling the type of way I'm very sad I'm very irritated frustrated and it's just like I'm shaking literally shaking I'm just like wow you know what I'm saying like wow and you don't it it doesn't really you you see everything but you don't really feel it feel it feel it feel it until it hits home and I'm like wow these people just called the cops on us and they don't even know that I have a special needs son you know what I mean that he loves music the music has to be kind of like a little bit loud for him to like calm down he loves these lights on his speaker and I'm just thinking what are we doing? What are we doing besides being black? What are we doing? What are we doing so wrong besides being black? What are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? Literally, what are we doing? I'm just like, wow. And I see my neighbors, they're so sweet. They wave and they walk in. And I'm like, and I've seen a couple people out here working on their cars or whatever. And just kind of like looking in the garage. I'm having a good time. I'm singing out loud. I'm thankful. I'm grateful to God that we are still here in this pandemic. We've been safe. All of this stuff. But for someone to call the cops. <laughs> literally. Call the cops. On a young lady baby because 38 is still what it do and her three-year-old son Deanna they called the cops on us I'm so upset I did too I did too I did too I knew it was gonna happen and I'm so upset because what are we doing in my garage besides being black what are we I don't know who it was who called it doesn't matter Deanna it doesn't matter, Deanna. I'm in my garage. I'm, TJ loves music. You know, he loves it loud. He loves the little lights on his speaker. He's playing right here. I'm inside my garage. And he tells me to come to the car. I'm not coming to... So you can kill me? So you can literally kill me? This is real life. I'm not coming to your cop car so you can kill me. Okay? I'm not going to do that. And so for whoever, and it just upsets me because for whoever called the cops, you don't know that this little boy has special needs. You don't know that we're in our garage. We're my, you, you know we're in our garage, minding our own business. There is nothing that we are doing besides being black. Nothing. Ordinance in my lease says 10 o'clock for noise. It's barely 7. It's barely 7 o'clock. So, I mean, yeah, I'm upset. I'm hurt. I'm upset. I'm, 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 I'm angry. I'm very, very angry. But at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, I will not. Will not. Hear me clear. Will not allow another individual full of hatred and full of spite and full of pure evil destroy anything that I have going on, okay? Because I know at the end of the day, they will be wiped off of this earth and never to be seen again.
and that is my hope, okay? And that is my faith, and I stand on that. There was no need, no need at all, to have the cops called on a young woman and her special needs son playing in a garage. No need. It's just... It's real. It's hurtful. And it's just, I can't even imagine. If I feel like this over something that didn't transpire into something worse, I can't even imagine how people feel with everything that's been going on. I just... I'm gonna turn my music back on. I'm gonna sit out here with my baby for probably like another 30 minutes. My first reaction was saying, go in the house, shut the garage, and just be done with it. But I'm not going to allow, I'm not gonna allow, or until we get ate up by mosquitoes to the point to where, but it's like, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself and it's like they literally hate the fact that you are still smiling through it all there they hate the fact that you are still pressing through it all and they hate the fact that you are who you are based on your skin color and at the end of the day you guys not everybody is the same but the hatred is really running rampant and it's just it's it's just it's really unfortunate but my hope is my faith is i know that they will be wiped out never to be seen again and i know that god will get the glory and we have the victory even though we don't see it right now at this moment like that is my hope that is my faith that is what i cling to that is what I know. I know that God is real. I know that <laughs> victory is ours. And we don't have to see it right now because we walk by faith and not by sight. And faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So I know I know, I know, I know, and you should too know that God is real. He will keep his promises, and no matter what we see, we have the victory, and vengeance is mine, said the Lord. And with that, I pray to God you guys have a great night. These tears are of sadness of everything we've been facing and going through based on our color. I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about religion. But it's just, it's just unfortunate. It's just unfortunate. But I know in the end, Jesus reigns. He is sovereign. He keeps his promises. And all things work together for the good. And those people who are full of hate, full of vengeance, full of evil, will be wiped out and will never be seen again through all eternity of the earth. That is my hope. And I pray to God it is yours. Continue to enjoy the rest of your day. I'm about to turn my music back on and enjoy the rest of my night. You guys have a great and wonderful Sunday. May God bless you. May he be with you. May he strengthen you and keep you during these troubled times. May he keep you sincerely. Keep your family. Keep your head up. Stay strong. Keep a smile on your face because we know. We know. We know. I know. And that's what kept me. That's what kept me in this garage. 
No, I'm not about to shut down. No, I'm not about to close my garage. No, I'm not about to pack up and take my kid inside. No. No, that's what you want. I'm going to continue to enjoy my night. Sing, dance, give God thanks, glory, honor, and praise. And I'm going to continue to press through. And I pray to God that you do the same. Until the next time, inspire, be inspired. I love you guys. God bless you. Good night.